We're back with Floating Sandbox, but today we're going to be cutting ships in half and seeing which one best survives the destruction. Now, the first up on the victim list is a Carnival Cruise Ship. Now, before I absolutely destroy this thing, comment down below if you've ever been on a Carnival Cruise. But we have the smash tool, and we're going to go ahead and do a split down the middle just like this, and it has completely been separated. The power has just gone out in both compartments. Will it be able to float? Ladies and gentlemen, sorry for the slight inconvenience of the ship actually cutting in half here. Anyways, I would advise you get on the lifeboats. Actually, um, all the lifeboats are underwater, so I might have been saying that for too long here. It's a little bit too late. All right, here we go. Let's see which part ends up sinking first. All right, let's see. I'm putting my bets on the right, uh, left one, left one, left one. All the money on the left one here. So I'm guessing the left one is going to sink first here. We're going to see. Maybe I'm wrong. Which one would you choose? Let me know down in the comments with the timestamp. We're going to see who is right. Oh my goodness. This one's going to be really close. This one's going to be close. Which one will actually win? The fish are investigating. There kind of curious too i think that one has a bet on this actually oh my gosh this is crazy all righty we're beginning to see which one here come on left one. Oh, the front is really close to sinking oh my gosh hold on a second come on go down farther oh it's so close it is so close y'all oh my gosh you've got to be kidding me no is it gonna tie oh no, the front definitely went down first. Are you kidding me? This is so annoying. Y'all, I had 50 bands on that other one. Okay, let's see. So we're going to do this one now. So we're going to split the container ship in half here. Uh, Wait, it's still technically connected. Gosh, darn it. There we go. All right, now it's splitting in half. All right, Captain, what seems to be the problem here? Oh, the bow section disconnected from the ship. Actually, there's a video of that happening on YouTube. Search it up after this video. Literally, the bow section of the ship just pops off on the video. Unfortunately, I don't think the crew survived, so RIPs for them, but we're going to see how it happens in Floating Sandbox here. Looks like, uh, I don't think this is exactly how it rolled out, but I mean, it is pretty cool seeing it, so let's see which one will end up sinking first. I'm going to go with the front this time, just because, uh, you know, last time the front kind of, you know, yeah, I, I lost a lot of money there. Anyways, the captain probably is a little bit concerned right now if I had to take a guess. I don't know. Probably, probably not, because I don't, you know, look at his lifeboats. They're underwater. Both of his only lifeboats are under so what would you do in this situation i would be opening these containers searching for a timu package that actually floats you know one of these items has to float right let's see we got some costco right here um yeah sam skip what is that are these fake company i don't know whatever these are anyways i'll start opening up these containers and hoping to god that there's something in it that floats anyways it's looking pretty promising for about nobody here let's see if uh this section here ends up sinking first passengers sorry for the slight inconvenience you will be getting a 29 dollars voucher i know i'm just being so generous here i don't know why i'm saying passengers this is a cargo ship. Wait a second. Uh, there shouldn't be any passengers on here unless we got people in the containers. I don't do that kind of stuff, so that's that's not me. Okay, passengers is referring to the crew members, I promise. Can this thing sink already? My goodness, it's been about five minutes here on the clock. Oh, the front section. It's literally frozen. Are they even sinking anymore? Or is it going to sink from being split in half? What the heck? Ladies and gentlemen, we have an indoor waterfall currently forming in the bow section. Isn't that just amazing? You know what? I don't think we charge enough for this transportation here since there's an indoor waterfall we'll be increasing our prices to 68 dollars per ticket big moves are being made we're seeing the back section of the ship start its um rotation process here i don't know i just made up that term anyways it's going vertical so we're gonna see hold on oh we don't have any engine controls i was gonna put the engine on full speed and was gonna see what happened uh we'll do that with a different ship here oh wait who's gonna sink first what are they doing oh they're gonna collide oh my goodness y'all back up what in the world they're coming from the dead how are they floating still honestly i don't know this one survived quite well okay finally we have a ship that i can actually see passengers on all right here we go and the front section does not have power wait do the engines still work you think full speed they still work hold on it's still connected whoops there we go okay so now it's disconnected we're just gonna drive the back section away oh there goes the power never mind okay well that went amazing i was about to say who's driving this joint because the captain's up here i don't think he has any type of communication with the back unless it's like a ham radio all right ladies and gentlemen we are beginning to have some issues on board if you haven't noticed already we have a slight lean in the ship to the front and back depending on which section you're in that got 
split in half. Anyways, that's besides the point. Um, I would advise probably getting out of whichever room you're in because it's not going to end up going well. Unless you're in the swimming pool, you're about to have a little bit more of a swimming pool start probably entering the room, which seems actually quite exciting. So everybody get to the swimming pool room. But unfortunately, wherever you end up, there's going to be a swimming pool either way. So if you go outside or inside, you know, it doesn't matter. Here we go. Let's see which part sinks first here. Or if I'd rather be in this ship out of all of them, honestly, probably not. The color magic isn't looking too good. Look how much water is filling up inside of here. The captain is about to get flooded out as we speak. Oh my goodness, this is bad. And here it is. This part's starting to really fill. There must be a hole right here. Someone left their darn window open. I'm telling these passengers have been closing them. It's not something we started this voyage and they keep leaving them open. Oh, which one's gonna win? It's really close. I'm rooting on the bow section here. It's gonna sink first, especially with all that water entering. Okay, let's see. Here we go. It's getting really close and this section's about to go underwater right here and it is under no way now it's under okay looks like it won all right so i'm curious this is kind of related to the titanic but we're gonna split this ship in half here calmly this is the britannic here i don't know if i said that already but uh we're gonna see so we have some bulkheads here we can witness start filling look at that it's so satisfying it's an indoor waterfall is what i call it on my voyages here look at it literally a waterfall it's so cool uh, hopefully we find a ship that when we split it in half like that it doesn't sink because every single boat so far is sinking we need to find one fish he's that don't end up sinking oh my gosh i did not know i could zoom in that much hold on how far can i go oh that's max okay that's crazy i don't know how my computer can handle this to be honest very impressive i think we i think these are some walleye or something anyways oh it's basically in sync the front and back are in the same position here except the front's going vertical uh, that's not what happened on the titanic there the funnel goes underwater flooding out right now this is just going absolutely amazing i don't think i'm gonna be choosing the ship that's sinking a little bit fast you know it's not really that modernized so you know i wouldn't want to be on an old ship and sink in it all right we got our modern ship here this thing looks more promising fishies this is what i'm talking about this is what i mean by modernized okay here we go so let's see what if we split this thing in half will it float or sink let's see what happens okay let's finish the split here we go i know this thing's gonna hold up quite well i mean obviously it's a modern ship here all right, see, I told you, look at the back section. Look at the back section, this is amazing. We don't talk about the front. We do not talk about that, but wow, we hit this thing right perfectly in the middle of a bulkhead. Um, unfortunately for the front, that didn't end up going well. Uh, I chose the back of the ship for this voyage. I'm staying back here. Well, I just realized something. I guess I am the captain, so technically I'd be up here, so I'm probably about to die. That is just amazing. That is exactly what I wanted to hear, fishies. Okay, this is really bad. Okay, so what would I do in this situation if I was right here? Oops, not even. More. but um right there and this thing was sinking well thank you for asking uh i sound schizophrenic anyways we i would probably start swimming to this other side of the ship over here that's split in half so um yeah and probably get to the lifeboat but so far this one's kind of surviving the best now i am 23 percent sure that this ship will survive better look how modernized this thing looks. every single lifeboat is enclosed you don't see that on the older ships like the titanic now let's go ahead and split the ship in half and hopefully we don't end up filling this water slide with seawater here momentarily but anyways uh let's go i'm feeling right here for the split oops i went a little sideways oh god this is oh that was really oh this is not good that is going through like straight up uh, i don't even know oh that, that's also amazing okay so we've lost power to all the electrical needed deployed lifeboats so yep there goes the lifeboats hopefully the captain knows what to do in this scenario actually i don't you know if we lose all power on all the lifeboats our electrical release i would say we probably have some major issues happening but that's just me all right my carnival glory riders we're having an inconvenience on board please get to your cabins uh there might be a little bit of water in your carpets here momentarily it is just a pipe burst i swear it's in the hallway just don't go in the hallway yep and there goes the water slide actually filling wait how did that water how's our water don't explain that to me how's our water from the water slide going under y'all i swear we had a leak too i told the maintenance staff of this months ago they don't listen Okay, let's see which section will end up boating first. I don't know. I'm definitely not going to be choosing this ship. So, you know what? Since I'm not choosing it, why don't we just show it a piece of our mind here? I don't like this ship. You know, as a captain of a ship, I want to find one that actually floats after it gets split in half. Ooh, this thing looks big and chunky. I like it. Here we go. And perfect. 
Oh God. Oh no, this thing's doing the same darn thing except faster. Hold on, full speed on the engines. Is that a reverse engine? How does that even move? Y'all, we haven't found a single ship that can float with an entire cut through the middle of the boat. I don't know what to do. Wait, no, we've had we had that one cruise ship. You know, that's that's number one right now. But I there's got to be a number a number zero. We got to find something better than it. Obviously, this one isn't it. So let's move on to the next one because this thing's sinking too darn fast. Oh, you guys know this ship? It's the ship in the movie that got hit by the tsunami. I remember this. Uh, of course, I watched that movie. Here we go. This one's obviously going to survive. Hold on. It's actually doing quite a good job. No, it's going to the next bulk. Yeah, that's not good. That is not good. It's not looking good for the front. The front it is probably a no bueno at this point. It's not looking too good. Okay, the back section I have hope for. It's kind of stopping here. It doesn't look like it's spreading to multiple. Never mind. It's definitely spreading. Oh my gosh. Y'all, we got a code red. What would you do if you were on the sinking Poseidon in real life? The movie Poseidon ship. Well, good. Good. I'll be taking this lifeboat that I've just cut out there, and that is me in real time deploying it and it's sinking on me. Wow, that's amazing. But anyways, that's what I'd probably do. And that's probably what would end up happening. My luck, I'd get put in a lifeboat with Queso and this exact scenario would actually end up happening. That'd be pretty cool. Oh my goodness, we're going vertical, Captain. What do we do? Captains are no longer with us. Oh crap. And the Poseidon is going vertical. This thing will not be getting chosen for the winter today. Wow, this ship is giant. So we have the Queen Elizabeth. What is it? Two? Yeah, two. 19. Wait, hold on. Did I see the date right on that? 1969. My goodness. That is old. All right. Well, that already made this quite questionable. Let's go ahead and show a piece of our mind here. There we go. 1969 ship versus splitting in half. Ooh, wait. Hold on. Oh, that is not good at all. Really not good. Yeah, it's flooding. Um, hold on. Isn't there a repair tool? No, we're not going to do that in this video, but you can actually repair the damage. Like, there's some videos out there that I've seen. People repair the whole ship after it's sunken and do a whole renovation. Uh, unfortunately, if a ship sinks in my map, first of all, there's nowhere to even put the ship at if you try bringing it back up. And the bottom of the ocean is a spike pit. So have fun recovering that ship. But um, it'd be an interesting video. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see that. Oh, did I not do disconnect them <laughs> they're still hanging on by a thread there we go yeah the front section is not look like it likes existing today nor would i nor would i if i got cut in half either i would probably not want to be here still so completely valid crash outs queen mary too completely valid okay let's see look at these fish here they're like what's going on there's a sinking ship above us yeah no dart it's the queen mary too have you never heard of it before sorry correction is the queen elizabeth too my goodness okay here we go we have a we have a really big aircraft carry this is a military ship there's no reason this thing couldn't survive getting cut in half let's say a bullet comes from the sky a really big bullet you know a meteor a meteor comes from the sky and it does this to the ship will it float or sink we're gonna find out today let's see so we've had a meteor crash down and split the ship in half god yeah this isn't looking good why does this thing have the same bulkhead design as passenger ships that is mildly concerning what do you guys feel about the situation fishies what do you guys think of it yeah they don't have a care for it in the world they're like this is about to be my new home i don't know what you're talking about and we have a plane wow we have a lot of planes in the water i just realized not good if i try damaging this oh I thought I'd only do the plane, but um, I forgot we're in a 2D game. Well, I feel like the back section actually would have survived here. I did put this little bolt hole in, sorry about that. But uh, you know what, this would be in second place if I had to choose. Now we're finally talking modern. Look at this, we have the P and O cruise ship, Pride of Rotterdam. Isn't that just amazing? This looks like a ship that could definitely survive being split in half. Here we go. Gosh, that's a lot of water. What is going on with the stern sections bulkheads? I didn't see a, a single drop of water hit a bulkhead until literally the stern of the ship here. There's a bulkhead right here. Wow, that's a really effective job at saving the sinking ship from being split in half. I, mean, I guess they don't expect getting split in half. What's going on? One bulkhead in this entire section. Look at this. I don't see any separation. Oh, wait, I see some micro pixels here of separation. Never mind, but still, like, you know, we gotta have something better than that. I'm sorry, but why? 
why is there an, like an entire ecosystem going on in this entire frame? But then if we go to any other frame in the game, there's nothing. Like what's what's so popular about over here? I mean, I guess there's a ship, possibly their new home, but these weird looking genetically modified organisms keep popping up. Y'all, I don't know what's going on. This is very cursed. But um, anyways, oh, which one's going to sink first? You know, whenever we're comparing which one's going to sink first, that's an immediate answer to it's not going to be at the end of the video for winning. I don't know. You never know, though. I might be tripping out and choose it on accident. But uh, we have the pride of the otter dam sinking right here. The back section has gone down. Now, I'm trying to find the Titanic here. Where is the Titanic? We have the Britannic. No, we've already done that. Oh, we got the Queen Mary 2 with lifeboats. Me likey. Okay. Wait, didn't we already do this one? Yeah, I'm like 69% sure we already did that. Okay, you know what? I'm tired of this. We're just going to search up the Titanic. That is not the Titanic. Thank you for the offer. There we go. Now we're talking. All right. So we have the official Titanic here. I don't know what kind of nonsense we saw a few moments ago, but I'm not for it. Okay, here we go. We have the Titanic. Um, Let's split it in half. I'm sure it just has some familiarity in this, so it probably won't take it too harshly. Ooh, wait, it's actually... <laughs> wait, hold on. Do reverse. Is the engine still working? No, it indeed is not. Okay. Wow, this is amazing. How do I... Can y'all separate? I want to see what's going on in between y'all. Y'all look like you just like reconnected yourself. This looks like the Titanic on a lot of pills. Oh my goodness. Is this thing going to separate? Come on. I need to see. I see like water filling in, but I can't actually see it. I'm actually impressed though. Look, it's not like flooding over to the other side. It's doing a really good job at maintaining its current water level. Hold on. This one might be the one. I don't think we've had a single one better than this. Oh, yeah, it's not like, hold on, can I grab it from this section? Crap, I can't. How do I separate these things? If I do anything crazy to separate them, it's going to break it, which will ruin the challenge. And I don't want to disrupt the water level because then it'll sink faster. Do you guys see how good this thing is doing, though? Hold on. Wait, where's the repair tool? Maybe we can, like, repair them together. Repair. Okay, let's do our little sewing up here. Perfect. And we're going to do it over here. I don't know where the other section is that got split out. We're just going to do it randomly. I just need them to separate and not like destroy themselves while we're doing it all right all right we're gonna do some stuff here okay i kind of moved them now we'll see some rotation all right oh that looks really weird come on separate how do i do this i don't know what to do to separate them oh no we've been here so long a freaking storm is rolling in and now it's going to sink oh this is a this isn't fair oh this is bad you know we've just been struck by lightning so oh goodness y'all this is bad we're in a slight storm right now oh my goodness the titanic is not doing too well in a slight storm here all right ladies and gentlemen do not go outside i repeat there is a slight issue oh my gosh um okay well now that we've been incinerated um start the evacuation process with the zero lifeboats that are still with us actually because they've all been exploded but yeah i'm gonna show you guys the winner here right now okay i have the winner above me in this video it might be really hard to guess which one i chose because it's just you know it's it's a really odd guess you know anyways before i show you here's a shout to the three most recent subscribe commenters subscribe comments and watch until the end of my videos to get put in next ones all right y'all you might have seen it but we have the rms titanic here that officially won the video drop a comment and subscribe down below if you agree with it and put a comment on which one you think it should have been thank you for watching